So, now see this example is of velocity time graph. Here in this axis, I have taken velocity, in this axis, I have taken time. Time is in seconds, velocity is in meter per second. Now, you have to calculate using this graph distance and displacement in time interval 6 seconds. It means from 0 to 6 seconds, how much distance body has traveled and how much displacement is here. So, very simple here, the displacement is equal to, as I have told here, what was the area? So, here you can write now 4 into 2 that is area of this part, here we can write plus minus 2 into 2, minus 2 is velocity, 2 is the time interval, then plus 2 into 2, again 2 is velocity, 2 is time interval. So, this will be coming here 8 minus 4 plus 4 that is equal to 8 meter. So, this is the displacement. So, displacement in time 6 second is equal to 8 meter. Similarly, you can calculate distance. So, distance is equal to a, this is 4 into 2 plus, here we will write magnitude of this, that is all. Everything is same because in the speed cannot be negative, so that has to be positive. So, we have taken magnitude plus 2 into 2. So, you will be getting 8 plus 4 plus 4, that is your 16 meter. So, using this graph, you can calculate here now the distance and displacement. See another example, this example is actually related to instantaneous velocity. How to calculate instantaneous velocity? So, a car moves along a straight line whose equation is given by x is, s is equal to 12 t plus 3 t square minus 2 t cube. What is the velocity of the car at a start? So, see here for calculating instantaneous velocity, we have to use differentiation process or that means calculus. So, here simply it is very simple here you write down s is equal to 12 t plus 3 t square minus 2 t cube. As we know to get velocity from displacement, if you have got displacement and you want to calculate velocity, so you have to do actually differentiation. Differentiation we have to do, but take care if you want to reverse one velocity to displacement, then you have to use integration. So, here we are getting from displacement from position to velocity, so we have to take differentiation. So, we can write V is equal to ds upon dt is equal to, if you differentiate this, you will be getting only 12 plus 6t minus 6t square. This is the derivative of this with respect to time. Now, in the question they have asked, what is the velocity of the car at the start? It means at 0 time. So, you put here t is equal to 0. So, you will be getting v is equal to 12 plus 6 into 0 minus 6 into 0 that will be 12 meter per second. Because we took distance is in meters and time is in seconds that is why I am writing a v is equal to 12 meter per second. So, this is showing you here instantaneous speed. 